Hey guys, what's going on? James here. Breaking, breaking news. The Carolina Panthers have closed in on a hire. It's Buccaneers offensive coordinator Dave Canales as their new head coach, according to Ian Rappaport. First time offensive coordinator. His work in Tampa this year, especially with Baker Mayfield, stood out on to Bryce Young. We've made videos talking about this. Dave Canales got his second interview with the team. The connections between new Panthers general manager Dan Morgan and offensive coordinator Dave Canales run deep. They worked seven years together with the Seattle Seahawks. Now those connections have came to fruition of Dave Canales being the new head coach of the Carolina Panthers. The closing in of the hiring of Dave Canales. My first question is what kind of ripple effect is this going to have? Is this report from Ian Rappaport? 100% a done deal. If it is not, firstly, and I'm going to say this, I don't know if this would, I don't believe this would be a fair situation. Do the Buccaneers want to run the risk of losing a guy like Dave Canales? We, we've we seen the overall success that he has had with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in just one year with the team. We've seen the success that he has had with Baker Mayfield. Is this going to make the Buccaneers reconsider and say, hey, wait, Dave, before it is a done, done deal, do you want to be the Buccaneers head coach? I don't know. I don't I don't think anything like that is going to happen, but I'm just going to throw that idea out there while we are talking about this hiring be done here by an NFC South division rival. The second thing I think about is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have to find them, themselves a new offensive coordinator. It is likely not going to be somebody who is already on the Buccaneers coaching staff as Dave Canales is going to take pretty much the entirety of this Bucs offensive staff with him over to Carolina. So the Buccaneers find themselves in a very similar situation as to where they were last year, which is going to be interviewing a lot of different candidates to try and find the next OC for this team. That's not going to be an easy process, and we'll see what the heck happens in that type of scenario, and obviously that's going to give us a lot of different types of things to talk about. The third thing that is a ripple effect here, how does this affect Baker Mayfield? We talked about Baker Mayfield wanting to come back, wanting to have another year in the Dave Canales system, now that's not going to be a thing. Baker Mayfield is going to yet again have a new offensive coordinator if he does stay with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Does this mean that Baker Mayfield is going to heavily consider going into the open market, going out into free agency? He's going to have a new offensive play caller regardless of where he goes. People are going to counter and say, well, there is going to be continuity with the head coach there and Todd Bowles, but Todd Bowles is a defensive-minded head coach. He doesn't have any input on the offense. That was all Dave Canales. And now that person who helped Baker grow into having a career year this year, is going to be gone. So this is a huge ripple effect. I cannot say that enough for the Buccaneers. The amount of this hire having a ripple effect is big, folks. This is a big deal early in the Buccaneers offseason. It means that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to have to find a new offensive coordinator. It I, in my opinion, very much brings up the question as to whether or not Baker Mayfield would or would not want to come back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to learn a new offensive system. Yes, he has a deep connection with Mike Evans. But another thing that Baker talked about was having a second year in this Dave Canales system. That is huge. That is notable in my opinion. So big, big ripple effects, folks. And then again, I threw this theory out whenever I talked about Dave Canales getting a second interview. You know, do the Buccaneers, maybe before this is a done, done deal. We have Ian Rappaport talking about this right now, but... Would the Bucs maybe say, hey, wait, Dave, don't go. Do you want to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach? I, I, again, I don't think, I don't believe that that would at all be a fair situation for Todd Bowles and all the things that he's proven as a head coach. But if they want continuity with Baker Mayfield and this offense, which is, in my opinion, made <clears throat> very strong strides in this year compared to where they were last year, would the Bucs consider doing that? I don't know. But right now, as it stands, without that theory, being done and being a thing, the Bucks have to find themselves a new OC. Who's that going to be? We have no idea, but yet another difficult search is going to happen here where Todd Bowles is going to have to nail it. And will he do so? Will he not do so? 
Gonna have to wait and see, man. It, it, it's gonna be interesting. Very surprising news, in my opinion. Even, even, even a guy like Ian Rappaport was very surprised. I'm very surprised. And look, congratulations to Dave Canales. This is an op awesome opportunity for him to get to work with Bryce Young to, you know, try and make a, a, a team, Gabby team of his own, I guess, so to speak. But man, this is a heavy hit to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or we're just going to have to wait and see what happens, folks. But I think that the Panthers got themselves a good guy. Maybe he wasn't ready yet to be a head coach, but only time will tell if that is going to be the case or not. But what do you guys think about this move? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Absolutely shocking in my to me personally. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. But wow. Wow, 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 folks. And also talk about the ripple effects down in the comments section below as well. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. I've got plenty of more content to go make, and I'll see you all then. Goodbye for now. Go Bucks. Whoa.